Now listen, people, this is a street fight for the presidency of the United States. I'm told they have a well-oiled operation just waiting to clobber us. It ain't gonna get more political than this. Now, we want to proceed as if this is a proper legal process. Right. Not a political street fight. Where was it for Jesse Jackson out of Florida as quickly as possible? Wait a minute. When I spoke to the vice president, he said he wanted to fight this with every possible... I was concerned that protesters might diminish what should be an orderly process. If a fight broke out, and let's say the police overreacted, or even worse, a riot, no one wants that. Chaos will not help our cause. That's right. Okay, I'll ask Donovan to talk to Jesse Jackson. Our first step should be exploring this butterfly ballot situation. The ballot was designed by a Democrat and approved by the Democrats in Palm Beach before Election Day. They don't have a leg to stand on. I went through a ballot configuration dispute on the Connie Mack recount. There are no legal remedies. The Constitution says presidential elections must be held on a single day throughout the nation. There isn't a court in the state that would be crazy enough to grant them a revote. Well, it looks like Chris won't be able to negotiate his way out of this one. I'm sure Jim will want to negotiate a fair method to settle this affair. Well, some Palm Beach groups have already filed lawsuits. I think we should join them. No, no, no. We don't want to go to courts. But if we're pursuing this as a legal process and not a political fight, as Chris said, then we're going to have to file lawsuits. Who doesn't want to send the message that he's suing to be president of the United States? He's Absolutely not just... Absolutely no lawsuits. I want to file a lawsuit in federal court as quickly as possible. It'll get thrown out immediately. You bet. But I want us on track for the U.S. Supreme Court. I don't think they'd even hear it. And we'd get crucified by our own people for pushing a state issue into federal court. Well, that's right. But as, uh, as some of you may know, I, I love to call turkeys in the spring. As did Lawton Childs, a former governor of the great state of Florida, though. I contend I was a better shot. <laughs> now, there's no love lost between Charles and the Bush family ever since that dirty campaign he fought against Jebby in 94. But I always liked Lawton, and every year before he passed on, we'd have ourselves a pleasant time calling turkeys in the spring. Could I have another soda, please? Right away, sir. Now, as two-time governor, Charles appointed six of the seven justices on the Florida Supreme Court. And I can tell you positively, they are the most flaming liberals in the entire goddamn state. If we end up in the Florida Supreme Court, we're dead. Now, the U.S. Supreme Court may be a long shot, but Florida is a no shot. Now, we can sit here drinking tea and discussing the virtues of federalism, or we can start throwing punches. And yes, we'll take a hit in the op-eds, but until this is over, I don't want to see a copy of the New York Times unless it's to wrap garbage. Johnny Apple says that we have a week to resolve this before the American people will lose their patience. I think we need to heed his advice. All three members of the Palm Beach canvassing board are Democrats, and they'll probably agree to a hand recount. That's right. We got to start punching, Chris. The Bush brothers are not going to be so interested in a dignified process. Well, that may be true. But the world is watching. We are, theoretically, its last great democracy. If we cannot resolve this in a way that is worthy of the office we seek, what kind of hope do we give other countries who wish to share our values? The world is watching us, Jim. This is a tremendous opportunity to show how a nation of our power can resolve a conflict as great as this through diplomacy and compromise. Compromise? I thought we were here to discuss scheduling. Well, yes. But it was my feeling that uh, we should be able to agree on a method to settle this matter. Well, there, there's nothing to settle. If we're ahead of the completion of this machine recount, our position is this. Governor Bush has won the election. Catherine Harris will certify the election. No negotiations, no compromises, no extensions. Bush is president. I go home, end of story. It's always great to see you, Jim. And you, Chris. That's it? For the present. You gotta be kidding. What did you think was gonna happen? 
a bit of a fight. <laughs>